Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Thanks for being here, guys. Today is May 1st. Yay. We're Beginning. getting closer to summer. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say. Oh man, I hope so. <laughs> waiting, um, waiting on warm weather. Although it's been it's been pretty hot here uh, lately. Um, for me, I'm actually burning up right now. <laughs> um, but glad to have you guys with us today. We're going to be doing something a bit different, as you know. We're not. Let me just correct one thing. We're we always say we don't like comedy, comedy. But what we I guess we never really specified, and this is that we don't really like stand up comedy. We like comedy. Yes, we just, like funny stuff. Yeah, of course. Who of course, doesn't? Who doesn't like to laugh? But stand up comedy is not our not not our not our thing, not our bag, not our uh, I'm gonna stop right there. Not really our, <laughs> our forte, our groove, whatever you'll call it. But you know, I did say back in March, you know, we did a, a secondary no, we did the uh the two Ronnies. We've done two videos on uh, Al Murray, which he is my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was gonna beat him. We did Peter Kay, and then we did a, a video too that was blocked on YouTube. Uh, Michael McIntyre, and yes. that's been on Facebook for many months. So if you haven't seen that Facebook friends, go check it out. Um, but we, uh, we said back in, in March, we do a comedian a month mm -hmm. and then in April, sorry, we didn't. Um, so to remedy that we're going to do one today, start off the month, first Yay. of the month with the comedian. And some people were trying to guess who this comedian was going to be. And you now know from the title, Sarah Milligan. <laughs> so she has been requested by people a gajillion times Gosh, at least. Since we started doing this. Yeah, yeah. literally. Um, we have never looked at the female comedians in the UK, nope. um, but I'm interested in checking her out and see what her comedy's like, because I have no idea. I, I know we've been told that it's probably a little bit more uh, um, vulgar than we than we like, because I don't like vulgarity. So mm -hmm. we'll be seeing what, how that goes. I mean, unless they make it in a way that's actually funny. But um, before we get started on the video today, guys, uh, I want to thank our over on Patreon um, to our amazing patrons. You guys are awesome. And you're in for some really cool stuff for this month. We have awesome things planned for you. We Additional do. bonus episodes that we're not going to tell you exactly how many you're getting, but you're getting extra. Yes. We're going to have some fun over there. So if you're missed, if you haven't checked it out, go over and check it out. See what we have to offer. And I'm going to make an announcement right now at the gate for Debbie. She doesn't know what she's making for her British disc for the month, sure but for cooking on Patreon. Guess what you're making? I it's been requested. Toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. How'd you know that? <laughs> I know we talked about it, but I didn't know that. So she'll Any be making decision had been made. Decision been made. Okay. Sarah Healy decided it for you. Okay. One of our patrons. So thank you, Sarah. Debbie just <laughs> found out on camera. You're making to it in the hole, and we'll do our. She'll make that on Patreon, and we'll do our taste test reaction to it on the mm. Patreon video as well. So should be good. That'll be awesome. Anyway, so let's not screw around. Let's 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 jump in. It's May first. It's it's time to let's learn check. about a new comedian. Check this out. Having a boyfriend, spouse, oh, yeah, yeah. partner. So that's what this one's sure called. It's going to be fun. It's called Having a Boyfriend. We didn't know which one to do because we had too many suggestions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we kind of just rolled the dice and picked one. Yeah. Talking about your spouse or partners. Should be good. All right. So let's <laughs> let's find out if Sarah Millican is, is, is going to rock our world. Let's see what she's about. Um, I'm so grateful for you all to come tonight. Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to leave you on a story. Um, me and my fella don't really get nights off together very often, so when we do, we try to make the most of it. And uh, went out, and we call them like a date night. Went out on a date night recently, had a curry, lovely curry, got in, put a DVD on, everything going really well. Half of the film started to get a little bit amorous, a little bit frisky, which I suppose is one of the points of the date night. Seemingly, we'd forgotten that two hours before that, we'd had a curry. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, no. he went downstairs. Uh, <laughs> don't mean for a glass of water. <laughs> oh, he okay. told you to live in a flat, fucking work it out. Nice. The only reason nice. he'd go downstairs is to do the bins. <laughs> that should never be a euphemism for that. <laughs> do, you fancy, uh, do you fancy doing the bins later on? <laughs> It doesn't work, does it? No. Okay, so she just like come right out right, right out the gate, like boom. <laughs> she does. I didn't expect that. <laughs> she 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 looks like the nice like lady that lives down the street who tends to her mm -hmm. garden and her beautiful flowers. Yes. <laughs> and then she opens her mouth and it's like, oh, 
Right. Pegged you wrong. <laughs> so, like I said, I only heard her voice in like a 10 second clip of something, but no yeah. actual comedy. So, <laughs> this is uh, definitely different than what I anticipated. But now I'm seeing what you guys are saying. At the same time, it's, <laughs> it's funny. Um, I'll rewind that in five seconds. I got a new laptop. I apologize. I don't know where the buttons are at. I was just happy the space bar worked on that. It wasn't a hot yeah. key. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? No. So he went, no pays. Do you know what I do like that as well, like in that little stupid voice? No pays. That's what I'm asking for it, by the way. No pays. You will no pay later on. <laughs> will it do the bin? <laughs> so he was. Okay. There's no nice way of saying this to you lovely people, but I could feel a fart brewing. <laughs> Nobody knows what to do, do they? There's no plan of action for this. Oh, so what no. I did, and I don't really know I did this. Certainly don't know why I'm telling you lot. <laughs> Similar to in the film Rain Man, I started going, uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, God. And he carried on. Because as he told me afterwards, he thought I was doing an impression of Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> but we've clearly not got the hang of the whole seduction thing. I think that's fairly evident from what I've told you so far, isn't it? But I walked in on him the other day and he was lying on the bed just in his pants, because you know how men think that's attractive. Yeah. <laughs> and he had one bollock hanging out. Oh, no. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to have to pull him on it. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Dude. Question him on it, not pull him on it. <laughs> <laughs> if only they made that noise. If they made that noise, I'd never leave the little buggers alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if they made that noise, noise, I think you and I would still be married to our next husbands. <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a choke. <laughs> so many things. <laughs> I have to stop right here and pause because I have to ask you, is she already in this two and a half minutes your favorite comedian? Because this is so Debbie's type of comedy. Very funny. <laughs> I had a feeling because this is this is right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Like talking about everything she's talking about. The this, things. this is Debbie. This is <laughs> Debbie right here. This is hilarious. Okay, this I'm loving this. This is good. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't have high expectations for this, so I, I feel dumb. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> if only they made that noise. If they made that noise, I'd never leave the little buggers alone. It's <laughs> <laughs> not right. I said, do you know that you've got a bollock hanging out? He said, yes, I do. I put it out especially for you. <laughs> Why? No, thank you. No. But like I said, I've been with my fella for six years. It's going really well. Um, he bought himself a suit recently. I don't think I've ever seen him in a suit. I quite fancied him in his suit. And I told him, I said, quite fancy you in your suit. And he said, and I quote, it's very smooth. He said, if you like, I'll leave it on and sort you out all good and proper, all posh and that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you forgot to say Miss Moneypenny on the end. <laughs> But the only time we ever argue is when it comes to Christmas, birthdays, present giving times, that sort of thing. Because he really likes to buy me surprises, and I really hate surprises. <laughs> We've got a bit of a happy medium now, though, the last couple of years, where I give him a list of pre-approved surprises. <laughs> Five or six things. He can pick whichever one he likes. I don't know which one it's going to be, so it's still technically like a surprise. He came home a few days before my birthday last year, and he said, never guess what I've just done. I said, what have you just done? He said, I've gone off list. No, don't do that. He said, I'm not even sure if you're going to like it. I said, why the fuck did you buy it then? <laughs> exactly. I mean, thank you. <laughs> right? No, I'm with her 100%. You do. But a friend of mine who doesn't really know us very well, she said, oh, that sounds like an engagement ring to me. I said, no, it sounds like kaplunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have quite busy list. lives, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. And when we go on holiday, we like to go somewhere relaxing, somewhere where we can look at nice scenery and, and read books. That's all we really want to do. Uh, my boyfriend doesn't like to fly, so we tend to stay within the UK. And because we don't have to pay for expensive flights, we sometimes treat ourselves to a slightly posher hotel. The last posh hotel we stayed in had two baths either side of each other. And I thought, oh, 
We're going to be able to have really romantic baths together without having to stare at hairy toes. <laughs> that man puts up with an awful lot with me. Oh, no. no. <laughs> to be fair, his feet aren't any better. They're not horrific. They're just, you know, feet. <laughs> Nails are a bit long. Toes are a bit hairy. There's crusty bits on the bottoms. You know this sort of thing. Okay, yeah. oh, I, so hate, I hate feet so dearly and hearing this is making me cringe already, but she is, she is funny. Look like you could pick up mice with those. They've got a... <laughs> certain sort of owl-like quality to them. Okay, stop. Owl-like quality. <laughs> but you know, we don't live together. We have a few days a week together and a few days a week apart. And when we're apart and I get to sleep in my own bed on my own, I fucking love it. <laughs> Starfish. She is you. I love it. So we all love our partners, but when you're trying to get to sleep, they all do niggly things, don't they? Like, breathing. I, I don't know. You always complain that I'm breathing. I do. I'm like, I can hear you breathing. Why can't I hear you breathing? <laughs> hey, guys, before we go on with the video, um, please consider liking the video if you like the content we put out and subscribing to the channel. But please, again, we don't do a lot of comedians. We're not your channel for that. So yeah, if you're subscribing just for comedy, time. we're not your channel for comedy. So please, if you're here just for the comedian thing, this is not something we do often. No. Okay? Just want to make sure you're aware of that. All right, let's get back into it. Together. Is there anything about each other when you're trying to get to sleep that's irritating? He snores, does he snore? Gives a chill to people who think that they're a snorer? Yeah. Well, the people who know they're sitting beside a snorer. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of denial in the room tonight. Yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend snores. And I found out recently that my dad also snores because I was whinging to my mum about my boyfriend snoring. And she said, have you tried these? And then slid something across the kitchen bench like it was drugs. Try these. <laughs> <laughs> and what they were were those strips. nasal strips. I don't know if you've seen them. They're little strips that go... I've been begging you to get these for yourself. Yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Just listen to Sarah. She's even trying to help us uh -huh. remind us. <laughs> across the bridge of the snorer's nose so that they open the nostrils out so that they can breathe more clearly. And in theory, they don't snore anymore. Now, they worked for us for a while until it came to Christmas. Now, something you need to know about me is that I really love... Tyson Brick. Okay. Now, they worked for us for a while until it came to Christmas. Now, something you need to know about me is that I really love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> she is you. You are her. My boyfriend doesn't like Brussels sprouts. So at Christmas, we get a big bag of Brussels sprouts and I eat the lot. And I don't mind telling you, I'm pretty fucking toxic. <laughs> <laughs> so just before we went to bed on Christmas night, my boyfriend went... Do you mind if I don't put the strip on tonight? <laughs> nice. Nice. I don't mean it's just to be any bigger than they have to be. <laughs> Another thing he does, he puts his arm across us. And I feel, I quite like that, because I feel quite sort of safe and protected, <laughs> I suppose. But then sometimes he puts his leg across and I think, oh, now we are taking the fucking piss. <laughs> The last time I did it, he put his foot, remember, I described it not that long ago. <laughs> he put his foot on my leg and he rubbed it up and down. <laughs> and I went, what are you doing? <laughs> and he went, I'm being tender. <laughs> I said, no, love, you're exfoliating. You're exfoliating. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Okay, we don't do that this way, no. No, we'll yes. When I lived alone, I really liked it. I really like living alone. But one of the things I love about living with somebody else again is I like the unpredictability of it. I like that every now and again, a sentence will come out that I would never have said. The most recent one, out of nowhere, he just went, <clears throat> Your shed's no good to have a wank in. <laughs> what? What? Why? And I said, That's because it's a greenhouse, love. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you I live on my own. My boyfriend also lives on his own. I think some people think that's quite odd that we've been together a few years and we don't live together. We sort of feel like we've got the best of both worlds because we have a few days a week together and a few days a week apart. And it's sort of ideal. There was a time that he <coughs> moved in with me for three months because he was between flats and it made sense. And I was fine with it because there was an end date. I'm a bit stuck in my ways. I love you, but bye. Well, and while he was at mine, for those three months, I worked away for a week, and when I came back, uh, some things had changed in my flat. And I said, uh, love, um, uh, one of the towels 
smell as of bums. <laughs> you got any idea what that might be? <laughs> Without even thinking, he just went, that'll be me bum towel. <laughs> All day. Right? Or anything. Hey, bum towel. So when he did eventually move out as a housewarming present, I brought him a small brown hand towel. <laughs> it's good because it's brown, he doesn't have to wash it, and just crack it and use it again. <laughs> oh. I think mean, that was epic. But his mum came out his flat, his mum's lovely, she came out his flat and she said, uh, got you a new duvet set. He said, I don't need a new duvet set. She said, you've got one mm. that you just wash and put back on, this way you'll have a change. And he said, that's lovely, thank you very much. So she went to put it on, and it was lovely. It was all patterned, sort of matching. It was really nice. It was a little mm. bit flowery for him. Just a little bit flowery for him. And he went in to have a look, and he didn't want to hurt her feelings. He came back out, and he went, she's made me bed gay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, love, just because it doesn't got spunk in dinner, and it doesn't make it gay. <laughs> clean, that's the word you're looking for. <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> And his mum had overheard, and she came in and she said, it's not a gay bed. If it was a gay bed, there'd be shackles. <laughs> oh, can you imagine your mum saying that? No. <laughs> oh, that's epic, epic, epic. My DVDs, has she been fucking watching? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her backdrop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's like a 12-year-old child, like, just doodling mm -hmm. a little, you know. <laughs> Oh man, she's <laughs> really good. She's pretty funny. She is very funny, and I I I, I feel bad now for not doing this <laughs> months ago. <sighs> Just gotta take a breath for a minute. <sighs> a lot of laughing in my jaw. This is very relatable. <laughs> <for> <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I told her that one night. I can hear you breathing. Stop breathing. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, these are great. But he is a lovely man. He's lovely. <laughs> we were in bed the other day, and he got quite animated. And, uh, and he shouted out, feel how hard that is. And I thought, you bugger, it's Tuesday. We didn't have this booked in. <laughs> Turns out he's talking about the skin on his feet. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought about taking him to one of those places. You know those places that are popping up all over the place where uh, it's got a tank with the fish in and you put your feet in and the fish nibble at the hard skin. You know those places. And I thought about That's taking weird. him to one of those and I thought, I can't do that. The poor little fish, they'll think he's got fucking shoes on. <laughs> I'm just going to take him to a blacksmith instead. A blacksmith. <laughs> Epic. Love it. But he's, not, he's the nicest person I've ever met. He's a genuinely good man. And in January this year, I said to him, you know what, I think it's about time we started talking about the future. And that's what I expected from him, like an awkward silence. <laughs> Maybe some footsteps as he walked the fuck out of me life. <laughs> but he didn't. He just foot. smiled. Just really like a beam and grin. And I was, I was really touched. And I thought, oh my God, he wants to spend his future with me. Yay. And he said, are you sure you're all right talking about the future? And he went, what, like flying cars and that? Hello, <laughs> 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 oh, it's Sarah Milliken here. That's over? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel well, to stay... That went quickly. Oh. Jeez. So I didn't know that was going to be a compilation, for one thing. Um... But that was that was really good. That was yeah. funny as crap. She was pretty funny. She reminded me of you. Not in any way other than like the stuff she was talking about. And then of course, this I mean, completely hilariously relatable, as you said. Um, let us know in the comments. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm laughing so much that I got my throat all scratchy. Some of the things that your spouse or your significant other does that drives you crazy. Mm. Um, like fidgeting a lot. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of comments. Yeah, what's I hope there are because or something <laughs> weird. Paragraphs. Or maybe something weird your spouse does or you do that drives your spouse nuts. I just think it'd be funny to, to read some of those comments. I'd love to hear them. Mm -hmm. And again, guys, if you like the, the content that we put out to you, it would really help our YouTube algorithms if you like the video and yes. consider subscribing to the channel. Again, please don't subscribe to the channel based off comedy. We really don't react to comedy often at all. Again, it's been since March since we did a comedian. Yeah, so um, check out some of our other stuff. Make sure you want to be a part of our family before you subscribe. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I was, I, I was surprised by her. I didn't expect... I didn't, I didn't have any high expectations. I just didn't. Mm -hmm. um, I had seen her picture because I, you know, people had, like I said, mentioned so many yeah. comedians. We've had so many requests. 
Um, and we still have those open. You know, we'll still still do them here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> sorry, she made me get my throat all scratchy. I really like when comedians go to um, everyday normal stuff. Yeah, it's very relatable for everyone, and it just turns out to be a funny story and a funny yeah, a funny thing. Well, something that makes you look at your spouse as I uh-huh. did a couple times in that video. And go, oh, you do that. You, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff is is good. And she had some language, but it wasn't that bad. Um, wasn't as much as I think a lot of people said it would be. And I'm sure right. there's probably other things that she does that's worse but um not horrible um but it, I, I was pleasantly surprised mm-hmm. and i'm still smiling about it um i still gotta say al murray is my is my dude he's my favorite that we've watched yeah. so far yeah. al murray is he your favorite he's just like smart <clears throat> really smart wit and funny yeah he's a different level <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> this is just seriously um got a pearl <laughs> or something um but he's just on a different level of, of type of um he's not just a comedian i don't see him just that way He's just like you said, he's so intelligent too. Mm-hmm. And his delivery is just the whole pub landlord character is just a genius. Yeah. Man. But I, I I really and I thought Peter Kay was hilarious. Uh the two Ronnies were great. Everything we've seen so far has been really good. Yeah, and I really liked Sarah a lot. I didn't expect to. I didn't. I really didn't. Mm-hmm. Um I had just been kind of turned off by the higher pitched voice when I first heard her a few months ago. Yeah. Um, but no, I really enjoyed her and sorry. I'm having a rough day today. You are, you okay? <clears throat> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Um, but no, I just, I really was very surprised and I definitely want to watch more of her. Um, but I think we'll do from here out is we'll, we'll continue to do just a different comedian, not react to the same people over and over again necessarily. We'll see how it goes. Um, but you guys let us know in the comments, something you find that it might have been funny or weird that your spouse has done. We already have plenty of suggestions for comedians, please. We don't need more. No. We're good. No. We've got a gajillion uh-huh. in the other comedian videos we've done, so... Please no more. We can't take it. <laughs> but we'll continue to look at others. And um, I, I, I thought that was a lot of fun. Good way to start off the Sunday. <clears throat> it is. Start off the month. Start um, out our weeks with a laugh. Yes. Yes. And hopefully some, like I said, warmer, better weather ahead for everybody. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that and had a laugh with us today. And it's a good, good start to your day as well. Um, and let us know what you thought in the comments. And I'm sure probably most of you, if you're fans of Sarah Millican, you've seen this video, I'm sure. I would think um, so. But let us know, like, some of your favorite of hers that we'll watch on our own. Like yeah. I said, we won't do much. We might do another reaction on the future. Yeah. Um, but let us know some that you think we should definitely check out on our own. And, um, you know, again, just uh, thanks so much for watching and being a part of our channel. We appreciate it. We just hit over 16,000 subscribers the other day. Yeah. Which was so pretty cool. Applaud um, to you guys. Thank you guys. And again, thanks to our patrons over at Patreon. We're really looking forward to supplying you with some really awesome, cool stuff for May mm-hmm. that we're not going to tell, tell you about. Some of it's going to be a surprise. So y'all already know about some of the stuff. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff locally with Cincinnati mm-hmm. stuff, our favorite places to go and things like that. So, um, and then we got Debbie doing Toad in the Hole as one of her cooking videos for this month. Hey, you have to be over there to see it. You got to come over on Patreon and check that out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to us. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will yes, have yeah. a great week and we'll see you on Wednesday. See you guys Wednesday. Bye. Bye-bye.